All right, The Legend of Korra Season 3, Episode 4. We're in Ba Sing Se. All sorts of things are going down. It seems just as corrupt as ever, man. Instead of there being no war in Ba Sing Se, there are now no airbenders in Ba Sing Se. And the Queen is building an army. An army of airbenders. Are they going to brainwash them just like they did back in the last airbender? I don't know. But Kai's been captured. Marco and Bolin have found their family, but now they're out there looking for Kai. Korra and Asami have been out there kind of perhaps learning that what the Queen is doing is not necessarily right with all this tactic money and we got introduced to the last member of Zaheer's gang, Pali, and she's just like Combustion Man. I can't wait to see what this gang of four is really capable of. They've been built up a lot. Zuko is out here as well. It's going to be epic, man. If people keep building up this season, I can see why. I know it's only going to get better, but I'm just here for it right now. Show me some more Basting Say stuff. Show me some more Zaheer and his gang stuff, and I'm going to be happy going into this episode. Like and subscribe. Check out the Patreon for early access and to uncut watch long versions of all of these core reactions if you're interested. And with all that being said enjoy the video chapter four in harm's way talk to me well this is her yeah she looks like a demon man i'm here for it <laughs> just drop my water look at this dragon man how sick is that did you see that here the only thing i saw was a snowstorm heading our way i mean yeah that's probably the here that's not a snowstorm that's him. Hey, talk to me then. I don't think we're winning this fight. That's insane, man. Yo! I put you away once, I hear, and I'm going to do it again. Okay. Lock in. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's just good for her, for Ming Wah. Bro, they are efficient. Ming Wah. Let's get you out of here. And we're in business. Show me it. And there it is. It's the same thing, man. We could have just taken the elevator. <laughs> Show off. This reminds me of um Kung Fu Panda Man when Tai Long escaped. <laughs> oh shit! Oh she'd be loving that. I've waited 13 years to feel the swarm. Not the dragon, man! Okay, maybe they're just gonna escape. The Zuko's doing things though, and now he's on the floor. Oh shit. Now just leave them, just go away. Okay, Th this to me was best case scenario. I thought I'd never see you again. I never doubted. Oh, it really is like that, okay. Really, right now. Oh, they're gonna make us like them as well, man. Oh, no. Good. That was really good. These passports should get you into the upper ring. Awesome. Two, you're the best cousin a guy could have. And my <laughs> other cousins as well. Yeah. Come visit again. We will, Grandma. Now, this is good. I know that Earth Queen is lying to me. I can tell by that stupid little queeny smirk of hers. <laughs> <gasps> oh, don't hurt us, Sami, though. I think I could use a break. Mako. Bolin! Oh, here we go, we're all okay. back. Where have you been? Oh, here we go, this will be good. Met our family! Grandma Tears! Mako Scarf! Earth Queen! <laughs> lying. That last part is all they needed to hear. She was lying. I knew it! I swear, the next time I see her, it's the Queen. Oh, what you gonna do then, Cora? What you gonna do? Quick! Pabu, shirt! <laughs> We've received word from the Yang province. There have been reports of airbenders there. Oh, this is this is a bait. I assume you and your friends here will be leaving immediately. Oh, she's allergic. Is there yeah. an animal in my presence? Cover your mouth, woman. If you need any assistance packing, let Gun know. He'll see to it that you are on your way by 
evening. Yeah, she doesn't want them here. I can't believe the Earth Queen is conscripting airbenders. Oh, Tenzin ain't gonna like this. Get involved, Tenzin. Guys, what if Kai was spotted airbending? He might have been taken too. Probably not. He's surprisingly difficult to catch. Well, oh don't worry, Janora. We'll find him. We just need to figure out where to look. I bet they're under Lake Laogai. And I know how to check it out without being caught. Uh -huh. I can project my spirit into it. Oh, you can still do that? It's not as powerful as it was during Harmonic Convergence. But if I can get close enough, I think I can hey, do it. Hey, she's a spirit bender. <laughs> I love how even Tenzin's like, what, you can still do that? You now this is reminding me of where Jet died. Earth Kingdom. And instead of training Judies, they're training airbenders. Go easy on me. Never show mercy. Now attack your opponent, and this time, like you mean it. Sorry. A soldier never apologizes mm. to his enemy. Yeah, there's some good in Kai there, yeah. You will be when I'm through with you. Yeah, this is gonna be good for Kai, you can see. It's all heading somewhere. And this is the same island, man. After they got Arpa back, they were here. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of clean, man. I love this. And she can just like jump around like that? The Janora's crazy! The airbenders aren't there. It's completely deserted. Mm. They're not down there. It has been a long time. I guess they could be in the catacombs beneath the upper ring, or the ancient sewers beneath the lower ring, or the maze of tunnels that connects the rings together. We had to go to Lake Laogai first though, for the fans. How did you find me during Harmonic Convergence? I don't know. I think our spiritual connection led me to you. Maybe you oh. can find Kai the same yeah, way. She got a thing for Kai, you man. Connection. What do you mean? <laughs> connection? <laughs> and he saved his homie. If you have time to help your friend, maybe you're not getting enough rocks for yourself. He's got this. Okay, maybe not. I guess you're not as good as you thought. That's what you thought. Oh, uh oh. And here she is. Genora? It worked! It's a high level airbender move with a little spiritual stuff thrown in. Well, maybe this is the airbending option I was talking about, potentially. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Genora! Thanks. <laughs> this is the best romance stuff in the whole show, and it's between two kids. It's just simple and very subtle. The Earth Queen's temple. Nice. We go in under the cover of darkness, two small insertion teams, and a third on the outside. Then all we'll need is 12 tons of blasting jelly, uh -huh. a medium-sized bulldozer, uh -huh. does anyone have a badger mole that knows Morse code? <laughs> oh, great. Not the queen again. Oh, it's Lynn! We need to get Cora out of here immediately. Her life's in danger. What? Oh, Zucker told Lynn, yeah. Zaheer and the others have escaped. How is that possible? Oh, it's because time. Because here is an airbender now. Oh. No. Oh, right. oh. Shortly after we found out you were the Avatar, Zaheer and three others attempted to kidnap you. Luckily, your father, Lord Zuko, Chief Sokka, and Chief I were there to stop them. So that's why you and my dad sheltered me away. Uh, it was for your own safety. Okay, I'll talk more about that. To this day, no one knows what their motive was. Well, we gonna find out. No, I'm not running. Cora, you don't understand. These criminals are like nothing you've ever faced yeah, before. Yeah, but that's the problem. It's good for Cora's character, but this is dangerous. I came here for one thing, to find airbenders, and I'm not leaving without them. Fine. Let's get them and get out of here. Hi. Hey, what are you doing here? You shouldn't be walking around here all alone. I'm not alone. <laughs> Boom juice here as well. Damn! Earth bonks. I'm the Avatar. And I'm getting you all out of here. We're leaving? Where are we going? These are all your recruits, Tenzin. We're going to get you away from the Earth Queen and out of the city. Tenzin's gonna have a banger season, man. I can feel it. All this airbending stuff. His name is Kai. We need to get him. Top side, this is Papa Bear. The breezies are in the hold. Cue the balloons. Boomy's trying, man. I appreciate you, Boomy. Don't worry. Kai! Hey! Hey! Whoa! 
<laughs> Tenzin's not gonna be happy about this. I'm really sorry about stealing your wallets and running away. Yeah, here we go. And here we go. getting you stuck on that train. <laughs> oh, we can't stay mad at you. Yes, we can. <laughs> Here we go. Deserting Her Majesty's army is high treason. Punishable by death. Uh-uh. Come on, it's clear. It ain't clear. Oh, they're watching, bro. It's the Dai Li. These airbenders shouldn't be used as weapons. They have a right to choose their own paths. Taking them will constitute an act of war. I will bear down on you with the entire force of my kingdom. <laughs> they're leaving with me. No, they're not. But she ain't gonna fight though. Oh, it's the airbenders that step in, man. <laughs> Evac. Come on, Janora, get involved. Kai, we can all bend. Come on, Kai. Here we go. Use the moves that this guy taught you. Yes, sir. I guess I am as good as I thought. Talk your shit then, Kai. Pretty clean mission so far. Take down those airships. Where are the others? Everybody, hang on. Nice. Nice. Are we out? That was awesome. Bring me those airships now. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. You look stupid. This worked out really well. Like this is best case scenario for sure, right? I know that none of you chose to become airbenders, but now you do have a choice. We can relocate you somewhere safe. This is good. Or you can come with me to the Northern Air Temple. You are no longer anyone's property. What path you decide is up to you. So good from Tenzin. I think they'll go with Tenzin though. I want to go with you. Me too. Th yeah, this is in. perfect, oh, man. Too. Me too. Oh, look, I'm gonna start crying. I cannot fault a single thing they're doing. Be careful out there and stay safe. I'll try. It seems like wherever I go, I make a new enemy. Yeah. But you made some new friends too. You did well, Cora. This is only the beginning. It's only the beginning, man. This season's only just getting started. It's like, I, I, I just said, I can't fault a thing they're doing. Like if we move on from the Barsing Say stuff already, I don't have a problem with that because they put so much more emphasis on Zaheer and his gang that I'm like, cool, Tenzin's got his airbenders now. He can take them off and train them. That feels exactly where it needs to be. And now it's all about, you know, how do we go about getting ready to potentially deal with Zaheer and all of that. I, I just think it's great, man. So for me, I'm a very, what you see is what you get kind of person. If I'm not enjoying something, you're gonna know about it. If I am enjoying something, you gonna know about it. And this far, this season is absolutely cooking. From right at the start of the episode, with Zaheer rocking up to break out Pali, that was epic, man. Min Hua, she's a demon. She does not mess around. Tonrak, Zuko, Desna, and Eska ain't no problem. That's kind of how I expected that to go, but the way they went about showing how strong these guys are was awesome. And Pali is a demon. Like, I'm not gonna lie, she does have an Azula kind of face. It probably means Means nothing but she's got that same mark as combustion man and she does the exact same thing like she took zuko's dragon's fire and it was just nothing zuko got ragdolled a bit um kind of sucks to see i'm not really surprised by it though like given his age and like how strong these guys are meant to be but as we get into the episode and we get a little bit of the backstory of these guys like why they're locked up how it happened like they went after cora just after she was identified as the new avatar we don't know their motive yet i'm sure we will later on but when cora I said so that's why you guys sheltered me now this is something that was obviously not written into seasons one and two right at, at the very least definitely not season one so they can really kind of take advantage i think of that plot point about them sheltering cora to make this fit into that and i can appreciate it because i think it works of course you can make the argument like oh why wouldn't this sort of thing have come up you know when cora was making you know a, a big deal about how come you guys always sheltered me it wasn't just about the stuff going on in seasons one and two it was about stuff like this 
this as well. But it is what it is. I don't mind it. I just thought I'd point that out. And then Lin pulled up to Ba Sing Se as well after getting the news from Zuko and said, yeah, here we go. Like this is the gravity of the situation. Marco and Bo Lin had to leave their family that they just found, which I think is right. I'm really glad that they were able to meet them and have that interaction and know that they were out there, learn a little bit more about their family. But this feels very right to me. And I love Korra sticking to what she feels is right here. You could make the argument that yes, leaving is probably the right thing to do. As viewers, we know the gravity of the situation a lot better than Korra does. Obviously people like Tenzin and that who, who were around when as a hero and all that got imprisoned, they understand it as well. But Korra, she hasn't seen it yet. But like she said, she's here to get the airbenders. She's not leaving until she does that. I respect it. And that's exactly what they do. And look, that whole sequence throughout the, the episode, that second half of the episode, I think it was incredibly well done. It's one of those plans that you, you just wait for something to go wrong, but it was executed beautifully. And, and the place that we end up after it, I think is great. Janora getting more attention and the fact that she can do this with like her, her spirit is like, it's so cool. She mentioned it was like a, a high level airbender move with some spiritual stuff thrown in. I was talking about last episode, how Zaheer's gang are all like airbenders and then a little bit something extra. And like, we haven't really seen like an extra, like uh, offshoot kind of thing of airbending. Maybe in some way, shape or form, whatever Janora is doing here is something like that. Either way, it's really dope. And if she has a strong connection with someone like with Korra last season, she can actually find where they are. And she does have that connection with Kai. It's really cool how they've like established that connection between each other in such a short amount of time. They are kids, like even younger than our protagonists. And it's very light and subtle romance, but it is very much appreciated because it's such a nice step back from all the drama that we've had in the first two seasons. And I'm glad that they're really taking a step back from that in general. I feel like they're really learning from seasons one and two. I'd love to hear more about what people think about that as well, because we're not even looking at romance for any of our main characters. We're just focused on the plot and the plot is great. And like I thought, Kai's kind of gone through a little bit while he's been trapped and he was trying to help out his little homie. And I love that his homie, when Tenzin and Korra went to break out all the other benders said, we have to go and get Kai as well. I appreciate that. But Kai went through a lot. He apologized to Bolin and Marco. Bolin very quick to forgive. Marco, not so much. Very in character for both of them, I think. But it was nice. I think Kai's going to be a lot different from here on out, especially with Jinora going on as well. And I could see it happening, man. When Korra and Tenzin walked into that room to free all the airbenders, like here are your new air nomads. Maybe not nomads, but here are the airbenders that you can train Tenzin. I could see it happening. And at the end of the episode, like even, I say this all the time, even if it's something you think or know is going to happen, it's still so satisfying, man. And Tenzin has already learned so much from going throughout the Earth Kingdom, trying to recruit all these airbenders. And now he's going about it a different way, saying, you do what you want. Like we can take you somewhere safe if you want, or you can come with us. It's up to you instead of just trying to, you know, forcefully, well, maybe not forcefully, but instead of trying to make them just leave their lives and go with him. And now it's worked out for him. Now he has a bunch of airbenders to train. He is leaving us for now. I know we're going to see Tenzin come back, maybe with his army of airbenders, and it's going to be epic. I've been saying, I think Tenzin's going to have a banger season with all this airbender stuff going on. I'm here for it, man. Give me some of that. And it felt a little bit like the opposite of the last airbender when we like raided Ba Sing Se, when they came in on Arpa after getting him back from Wang Fang. And it was such an epic scene, like getting up to where the king is. It was like the opposite. We busted in and now we have to break out. And of course, the Lake Lao Gai reference as well. We had to go to Lake Lao Gai first. That's for the fans it has to be because Dunora had so many places that, you know, a Kai could potentially be getting kept. But once again, I appreciate that. I love my references. But through all of that, like I said at the end of the episode, if we're done with bossing safe for now, like I'm happy because the only thing I can think about is Zaheer and his squad. Like what's going to happen now? And I'm so interested, like what's their motive? Because I already like these characters. Like I liked the concept of them, but now they're making me get attached to them. You know, just off that one interaction of the four of them in the car. And I'm right in the middle of Hunter Hunter right now as well. And the Phantom Troop are, are like a similar deal. Antagonists who do some very bad things, but they're such likable characters and they're really good antagonists. So we'll see. I can't wait to see what the rest of this season throws at me. Cora said it, man. This is just the beginning. These first four episodes are like the massive prologue tone setting. And we've got nine more episodes to really delve into it. I would love to see an extended period of time of Zaheer and the other three just going around and doing their thing, like really getting to know them, really getting attached to them. I think there's a really good chance we might get something like that. But I think with all that being said, I'm gonna leave this one here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more. And as always, please continue to leave your comments and feedback down below. You know, I always appreciate it. We'll see you all in the next episode of The Legend of Korra.